right, in the net, in the net you go, little moon butterfly, and into my pockets you go, little waddle flowers. Today is going to be an absolutely important and monumentous day. Ooh, and there's some new treasure. Yes. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, it's a gigantic freaking, like, oh my gosh, it was like a big treasure too. That wasn't even a little one. But we've got a lot going on today, my friends. So hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to Dinkum, where we are indeed going to be quite busy. <gasps> Look, the museum is done! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my gosh, and the dingo is like hunting that kangaroo. Well, there's definitely a lot happening today. But today, friends, we are going to open up the deep mine! At least if I have anything to say about it, which may be hampered by the fact I think we might need a few more of the milestones completed so that we can actually unlock enough of the license points that we can unlock the ability to have said uh, super fancy super fancy and very exciting deep mine access uh let's see and so what can we do today smelt some ore into a bar water three crops which unfortunately i can't do because i can't do any farming yet and cut down three trees well the tree thing i can totally do because one of the new town requests that we have which i'm super excited about the request too is to actually go ahead and make a bunch of hardwood planks so that we can have hardwood path. Uh, so that's super exciting. All right, I'll go ahead and cut this tree down too and then immediately replant them because I feel terrible about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, trees! I bet that hardwood is going to make some beautiful wood though that we can totally use. Let's see, there's their seeds that we can totally use to make like fantastic fences and paths and town and stuff. All right, and I can get these planted. I'm glad they actually give you back more seeds than you take away. And to be fair, this will let me plant them in some nice spots. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and plant that one. See, we can actually get like some lovely trees growing up along the side of town this way. And, oh, I should definitely plant these guys around our new museum, because that would be really fun. All right, we'll cover that guy up. Let's go cut down another tree, which is not something I thought I would say, you know, as the first thing to start my day. Uh, but priorities, priorities. We need the license points. We'll catch ourselves some more butterflies, harvest ourselves some more of the wattle flowers. And actually, I was reading in the little tips that you get whilst you dream that you can actually put different flowers into the kegs, which makes me very curious about if you can put wattle flowers or the billy flowers into the kegs and what might happen if one does that. All right, so let's gather all this. <gasps> what is that? Oh my gosh. There was a hive. And it had bees! It had a bee in it! And it was in the tree! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! I wonder if I can keep these bees and then do something with them. I'm so sorry I cut your house down, guys. But I'm very excited to have honey for the first time. Oh my heck! Alright, we'll have to do something nifty with that. And then let me also replant all of these seeds. Because I'm not going to just take from our environment. I'm going to try to make sure I restore what I take. Okay, and then we'll plant this seed. Ooh, yes! And that actually got us the soil mover. All right, a little bit closer. Ah, I have no idea how many, like, how many of the um, license points we might need to be able to get the deep mine access. I'm hoping it's going to be just something that's pretty simple because you already have to pay for the deep mine pass like a lot of money 25,000 dinks is not something to sneeze at <gasps> yes oh green thumb for planting seeds in the red dirt they grow up so fast oh my gosh is that gonna give me oh we're so close to a thousand okay so do I have any or oh my gosh I'm tired I didn't even notice because I've just been like zipping along so fast but I guess this gives me a moment to try eating my cooked croco meat <gasps> what? Oh. Oh my gosh. 
I might have to go crocodile hunting more often, friends, because that just gave me so much help and so much stamina. And I never thought I would say I would go crocodile hunting. But look, life here in, in Yule the Outback, you just have to, like, deal with what you can. All right. All right. Let's see. What can I put away? So we've got old toy, uh, tin sheets, which I found. And then we've got the glass bulb. And we also have the honey now, which is so cool. And we're going to need to get some stuff moving and grooving. Let's see if I want to get enough hardwood to complete that request too. So I'm going to leave the hardwood over there for just a second. And then let me put the honey away. Man. That's so exciting. So now I have honey. I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with the bees. A little honey maker, where's the queen? So I probably could sell the bees because I don't have the queen. And you probably need her in order to do anything like useful with the bees. Maybe? Or maybe you can like attract some bees. So I might keep the bees for a little while because that might be useful. All right. As much fun as it is just to stand here and like, well, actually, if I stand here and work on the planks, does that get saws good? Saw well, saw well good. All right, so that actually does help with getting some of the points. <laughs> I can't believe I've become desperate enough for the points that I'm just like, yes, yes, I'll just stand here and work on these logs all day. That's fine. But we can check to see if we're like really close with something. And look at how much health we have now. That's so wild. All right. And can I see my town request here? I can. So collect 24 hardwood path. So we want 24 hardwood paths. I have hardwood. And then if I want 24 of them, it's eight. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now that was definitely enough, but I'm going to go ahead and craft like a few more. <laughs> Because, come on, let's be honest, this hardwood, like, plank for the pathing is probably going to be awesome. And it's probably going to look really good. So we'll go ahead and keep that. All right. So I'll give that to Fletch. Unfortunately, I don't have any ore I can smelt at the moment to earn those other points. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, and I actually can make a ton of money right now if I come over and grab the shiny disc and sell it to Franklin. Phew! There's a lot of stuff happening all of a sudden. Hey, Fletch! So, give me some good news about that license. So, mining license allows the holder to craft a better pickaxe. Is that the one I need? Is there anything else? Cargo, vehicle, landscape. Okay, so I wonder if that, if we buy that, which I'm so desperately close on having enough points for, if that will allow us to, oh, there's a bone. That's fine. To have the deep mines. All right, let's give Franklin this shiny disc. There you go, Franklin. I, I mean, yes, we have built a museum and I could totally be spending time looking at the museum, but I'm just so enamored with the idea. Oh, hey, Franklin learned something new of being able to go to the deep mines that I have to figure out how this works. All right, what can you craft, Franklin? So, <gasps> a gotcha machine! If you place money in it, who knows what you get? Oh, oh my gosh, that's happening. That's absolutely happening. Are you kidding? That's so cool. I've heard rumors about this thing that it can give you like even really powerful items if you put dinks into it. So we're absolutely building this. Okay, I need two iron bars. Okay, that's it. That, 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 just, that just solidifies my opinion on how important it is. Okay, let's try to work on the relationship with Franklin real quick. Got a job for me? I have a black plaid dress I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? I could let it go. Okay, I'll buy it from you. There we go. And now we have built a little bit more of a relationship, which is fine by me. And now, give me the mind pass. I can't until you have a deep mining license. Come back and- Are you kidding? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we... Oh, wait, 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 look. We actually have somehow managed to earn some more of those little license points by donating... Th we can donate things to the museum to get more license points. It was meant to be, friends. It was meant to be. Oh my word. All right, look, I'm gonna sell the yellow wattle flowers and the cactus figs and the seashells and some of the extra blue moon butterflies to him. Um, and a funnel web spider. I don't know if I've donated that guy. I'll keep one of each to either give to the villagers or go ahead and donate. Yes! More license points! I'm so happy! Okay. All right. All right. All right. I definitely want... Where on earth? Okay. There we go. Entrepreneur. Making those cold hard dinks. We've already earned a lot of dinks. That makes me very happy. All right, John. Do you need anything today? Because I kind of really... That reminds me, have you have gotten your furniture here that you don't need anymore? All right, so let's see, what do I not really need? I haven't really used that coffee table, but I'm worried if I get rid of the coffee table, what if it never comes back? All right, whoops, I did not mean to put on the black plaid dress, but glad to know that it works. All right, let's see, Fletch. No, 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 I don't want to, Fletch, you can't have my money right now. Please, let me go to the deep mines. I need to make a gotcha machine. Let's see, mining license. That lets me craft a better pickaxe. So now we can do copper pickaxe. <gasps> the deep mining license is available! Woo! Unlocks the mine deed and allows access to the deep mines. I want in the deep mines so bad. Oh my word, do I ever want in them so bad. Okay, how can I get the most license today? Possibly by coming over to our brand new shiny museum and being able to uh, spend a little bit of time. What is that? I can get in my net. Spend a little bit of time donating things. Oh, oh, I could do some fishing. I haven't done any fishing, so that might actually help out. Hello, Theodore. I can actually donate the bee and the funnel web spider and the fly. Okay, our collection is currently missing these things. I'm so happy to see him for the license points. And normally I'm totally obsessed with museums. And then, did I give him? Okay, so now he takes one thing at a time. That's interesting. So each thing we donate is worth, I think, 100 license points. So that actually does encourage me to maybe spend a little bit of time fishing today. And I think I finally figured out how to fish so that we can get more license points. All right, thank you, Theodore. How do you, oh, this is really pretty. Oh, look at how we have everything all set up. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is a lot prettier than I, I was anticipating. And it looks like we mostly focus on collecting fish. Ooh. Oh, it goes all the way around, cool. Neat! All right, so we mostly focus on collecting fish and some of the, um... Let's grab my fishing rod then. And some of the bugs. So if I was gonna get a fish, where's a good fish fish? Is that a fish? What is this? Is that a rock? It's a pearl! Pardon? <laughs> Oh my gosh! So I could go diving for treasures too? Oh, are you kidding me? This is just a lot to take in. There is so much happening today. Alright, so there's that butterfly in my net. I probably should think about at some point in the near future. Like, what about this guy? Okay, these guys I think we've already turned into him. But I should probably think about... Oh, there's a fish. So I think you gotta toss it near the fish. What is that on the ground? So can you go diving? I think you can go diving for creatures. I just haven't done that yet. Can I get closer to the fish fish? Oh, here's a fish. Excuse me, please, please conveniently get on my reel. So you wait for him to bite. And then, I think you wait for him to stop thrashing, is what I learned. 
And then once it stops thrashing, you pull in as much as you can. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, and he got away! But not for long! Okay. Because I think you want to, you, you're kind of in this back and forth. The fish will bite. And then you have to wait till he stops thrashing. Okay, he is really thrashed. And then you reel him in as much as you can. And then you wait. And then you reel, 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 reel. And then you have to be careful because he's going to thrash a little more. But if you... Yes! I got him! The blue spotted flathead! Oh, I can donate this sucker. And maybe I can even work on getting some more of the various milestones that one can unlock. Gosh darn, I think it's going to be really hard to be able to collect as many milestones as I want though. Also, what is this thing? Hello? Smooth slate, old key, old... That was a huge, like, archive of stuff! Oh my gosh, I, I just can't even decide what direction to take myself half the time because there's just so much happening all of the time. All right, maybe I can do a little more fishing. Okay, this is actually deep water. That's dangerous because that could be problematic with my crocodiles. Coming too close. Oh, it's already getting so late. How is the day going so fast? <laughs> I need more license points! Alright, come here, fish. Alright, this fish seems somewhat amiable to my attention. Oh, and I suppose if I'm going to actually be able to do the deep mining, I need to start making myself a copper pickaxe. Because probably to get the iron, I won't be able to, to be able to snag the iron ore. Yay, a jungle perch! Okay. Unless I have a stronger pickaxe, is my guess. Alright, let's eye up any potential fish fish. Oh, there's more fish over here. Hey, you guys. Psst, psst. Come here, fish. I am now Siri the Fish Whisperer. Desperate. If these are all jungle perch. You guys can save me some time, please. Okay, wait. So then once he gets tired is when you start reeling them in and you basically just wait till you hear the thrashing stop. Got it. That's not as hard as I thought it would be. Oh, it's another jungle perch. All right, I think the jungle perch kind of like crowd the riverways a little bit. All right, let me catch this bug. There we go. Oh, I don't even know what direction to take myself because <laughs> there's just so much that could be happening right now. I could see if I can donate some more of these little guys. Meanwhile, there's also like treasure popping up. <gasps> a shiny disc! Okay, gotta take that to Franklin. All right, I might wanna pivot and take that to Franklin pretty soon. That's a fly, already donated that, but not this sucker. Oh, and there goes my net. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Maybe I can donate a few more of these things and also sell this, no, Franklin's out, dang it. I was hoping I could sell the shiny disc so that we could have another like 8,000 and maybe unlock another cool thing. Like Franklin's gonna leave and take the gotcha machine stuff with them. Oh dear, oh dear, oh no, oh Franklin. Oh, this is making me very dizzy. Oh, there we go. So that's a pity. That's, that's actually a gosh darn devastating pity, but let's at least donate what we can. Ah, oh, that's gonna be just so much stuff that we have to go ahead and we have to work on earning before I can go to the deep mines. But that makes sense. All right. I guess what we'll spend the rest of today doing is maybe tidying up a little bit around town. I would kind of like to see if maybe I could use the fish to make some food. And normally, I, even in, in our pixeled adventures, in our pixel biology wandering, I try very hard to eat vegan. I still can. But I'm a little curious just to see what the effects of the fish would be. All right, that's all I got, Theodore. Thank you very much. Also, did you actually need something? I guess I didn't talk to him. Do you have a job? I noticed you got five bush lime on you. How does a thousand dollars for five bush lime? 
<laughs> I will take your money, sir. Thank you. I hope he's happily settling in. And in fact, we could probably help him out. He wants some bush lime. I like having a lot of bush lime money. I've been meaning to plant a bunch of bush lime around the museum to welcome him. This all seems to be thematically appropriate. So let's actually plant a couple right outside. Okay, can't plant it there, but I can right here. Whoops, and then let's go ahead and cover it up. Yay! And then I'll plant another bush lime right here. There we go. And right there. Excellent. And then I just thought like having a few of them crowding around and then one day we can go ahead. In fact, you know what? Can I plant three bush limes in a row? Nice! And then one day it might be fun to be able to go ahead and have like some of the uh, some of the benches and things that we can put out here. But for now, a little bush lime factory and then I could possibly get some of the hardwood later. Looks very neat and tidy. Excellent. You know what? I want to get a wheelbarrow too because I'm tired of hauling like one clunk of dirt at a time. And I would love to be able to afford a wheelbarrow and figure out what to do there. And I wonder if I can actually make some sort of like house or, or something for Franklin. Oh, that would be so good. Think about the opportunities. Franklin could stay and make me my gotcha machine. I've heard excellent rumors about this gotcha machine, guys. Apparently, like, if you put Dinks in, I have tried not to look up too much about Dinkum. Uh, you could say that just a few things come to me in my dreams. But apparently, if you actually put some Dinks into this particular gotcha machine, you just might find yourself being able to go ahead and get some even very rare items at interesting intervals, which I thought was really cool. All right. And you know what else we could do? We could maybe come over here, put down this path. Oh wait, no, I didn't need that for the path. Oh dear. How does one remove the path? <laughs> what have I done? All right, there we go. So that's how you remove the path. So I don't need to actually move the dirt, thank goodness, to put the path down. I just need to come. Oh, there we go, see? And then you can have like the little hardwood planks come in. And now we've got a nice little setup started for our museum, which I love. And meanwhile, I can complete Fletch's request. So let's come talk to her. Good evening, Siri. Don't stay up too late, okay? I did that thing for you, Fletch. Oh, Bonza, you crafted a 24 hardwood, hardwood path for me. Here you go. Wow, I've got quite a bit on me tonight. When I put up that post, I knew that you would be the one to pull through for me. Here's your dinks. Yay! So we got some dinks and we completed a request, which I think did us quite well. Because now we have board as. You always go out of your way to help people who have posted on the bulletin board. Here's a milestone for completing tasks. Ah, every little bit I will accept right now. Makes me very happy. All right. Unfortunately, I've got to cook some of my precious bush limes because it's all I got. And then let's actually check the bulletin board because I think there's another task. Cooking some dagwood dog. Uh, I'm making some dagwood dog and I'm short on corn. If anyone can bring me corn, I'd happily share some dagwood dog with you from Theodore. Theodore, I would love to accept that, but I unfortunately have no corn. <laughs> nor do I know how to get access to more. However, I do have a lot of hardwood paths, which I could start putting around over here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It's so easy to be able just to go ahead and like start making this place look somewhat, somewhat like an established little town. Oh, this is, this is kind of addicting. All right, let's, whoops. Okay, I didn't want the path there. All right, up we go, hardwood path. However, I did want it to go around this tree and then over to Fletch's place. Neat! Fletch, look at this! You've got a little path! <laughs> and then with time, I will be able to actually, like, put in... Uh, let's see. Do I wanna, yeah, we'll do another one right over here. 
with a little bit of time and patience, I will even be able to put in stairs. Then we'll really be cooking. All right. I have it, it, no idea how this village is going to just organically become whatever chaos it will. Oh, and I just remembered that you can put the flowers. I left room over here for the stairs. That's why there's just suddenly nothing. I just remembered that apparently I can make a keg <laughs> that I can put flowers into. There's just a lot happening all the time, but I need iron bars for that. And that's still quite a bit away. But what I think I might work on next is actually the animal collection point and the animal traps, because apparently you catch them for the sake of science and I like science. So we'll explore that. And I'm not really doing anything with this coffee table. And I'm curious to see what would happen if I did sell it to John. I hope I can get it back later, but I'm sure that something will happen in the future that will give us like the ability to do shopping with furniture. You're the best, Siri. I really owe you one. Here, take this. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Thanks again. And it's a face bandana for hiding my face. I am not a thief. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and put some of these things away. We have earned a lot today. I actually need to get ready to soon build myself a another wonderful... Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to build myself another wonderful wooden crate. I am running out of room for all my little treasures. And now apparently I have the treasure. Okay, I know I don't need these seashells anymore. Uh, now apparently I have the treasure of like pearls, among many other things. I think that I'm keeping the old keys elsewhere. So I'll take those. And then I do have a bunch of crude fences I don't really know what to do with just yet. Oh wait, and I could put away the bones too. Because who doesn't keep a pile of dingo-chewed bones just tucked to the side, I ask you. <laughs> All right, yeah, there's the old keys. And then I've got some grass seeds that I'm just kind of hauling around. There. All right, I'm sure this is fine. Oh, and I still need to get myself... Let's see, there's the new pickaxe. All right, nothing else looks broken. <laughs> Thank goodness, but I wonder if I could actually do something with this perch. It just occurred to me. All right, all right, because you got meat on the stick. Flour, bread, sugar. Then there's meat and raw drumsticks. And I suppose I could sell the perch. All right, we'll try selling the perch. Also, I think I might try getting some chips soon. Phew, let's call it a day. Uh, why was everything glowing red? Was I on fire? <laughs> Yay, we did more fishing. All right, forging went up. Excellent. Dinks earned. <sighs> Food made at the cooking table will help recover more stamina. Well, all right. And things progress a little bit more at a time. Franklin is gone, but I will do my best to gather up what I can and be ready for whatever adventures. Damage sponge. Huh. What kind of damage I took? Trap an animal and deliver it? Okay, that's clearly a sign that we need to spend a little bit of time doing the animal trapping today. I have no idea what that's going to entail, but we're gonna find out. So all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Jasperberry Island, slowly but surely growing. We're even putting down proper paths now. Pretty proud about that. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.